Hello and welcome to Zap Hosting. My name is Raz and today we will go through the process of ordering and editing a SCP server. This way you will not only know how to set up a server properly, but also what to do afterwards. We will begin after logging in with the ordering process. Later on I will give you some useful tips that might become handy for you as an admin. So let's head over to the website. I am already logged in, so let's order our server. Currently it is really easy to find our SCP vanilla server. Just go to the main page and click on game server. It's already down here. If you are looking for a server that's not listed here, simply click on discover our game servers, rent game server and then select the desired server here in the search line. There it is. Let's start with the basics, the location of your server. If you come from Germany, Germany would of course be the best choice. Then we move on to your server's details. How many slots should it have? How much RAM your server should offer you? We'll adjust that right now. The more players your SCP server join, the funnier and better it gets. But since I personally know that I prefer to play with six other friends of mine, the 10 slot server should be enough for me. These 10 slots automatically give me a little more than 2 GB of RAM. But if you want to install more plugins or mods, you might want to book a little more RAM. And that's what you do on this side of the page. Let's go to the properties of the server. If you have a lot of mods you want to install or a large group of players, then maybe a premium server might be the right thing for you. Premium servers are ideal for projects that expect a higher number of players or projects where extremely fast SSDs and a high CPU clock rate are important. The utilization of a premium system is kept below 40% on average. An own IP address. Well, that goes a bit further now because you don't have any IP address with your SCP server that would stay the same after switching the game. Because it would be possible for you to switch your SCP server to another game server within minutes. If you want your IP address to remain the same throughout your server changes, you will have to mark this here. Last but not least, we decide between contract, the payment that is automatically extended and prepaid. Contract servers extend automatically and are on average somewhat cheaper. Since I use prepaid here and know that I would like to try it out for about a month now, I can use the preset one month. If you should say 7 days is enough for me or I want to pay for 6 months right now, you can also set it without any problems. Last but not least, you can choose one of the many payment options. I personally still have credit on my Zap hosting account, so I pay with my Zap coins. For only 6.49 I can now have fun with my friends on my SCP server for at least one month. Let's place our order and I'll show you how it looks now. Welcome to the setup page. Now your server is going to be entered into our system. That can take up to 60 seconds, sometimes a bit more, depending on how much is going on here. Meanwhile you have the possibility to use a 10% code. If you need an additional TeamSpeak server or a music bot, just use this code and order your next product. And as soon as your server is online, just head over to the web interface, a special feature that comes along with every Zap hosting product. The dashboard gives additional information. Here you have access to your log files. You can see what happened on your server recently. Of course you have access to the live console, to reports of malfunctions or to the question and answer area. Changing the server settings is done in the settings section. The versions that are currently installed can be found under versions. If you want to schedule regular restarts of your server, you can do this under Restart Planner wish to upload mods or additional data to your server? No problem. 
via the integrated FTP browser, you can directly access your server's data. Add additional databases under databases and backups can of course also be managed here. This is the control center of your SCP server. Here you can change several details about your server. Beside its name, you can also change the way how your server looks like on the SCP server list. So, let's start with this. Basically, your server is shut down, but that's just fine, because you want to edit some details first. To make some adjustments in the configuration files, we'll just scroll down to this area. Settings. Here you can not only change the name of your server, but also tinker in the configurations. That's what we'll do now. No more annoying work with the FTP browser. No more special programs. Everything edited directly in your web interface. The easiest way to control a server. Best thing is, if we want to access the game configuration now, we can do that easily in the web interface. Adjust the spawn rate of MTFs? No problem. Reduce intercom cooldown to 20 seconds? Easy. Save your changes and you are good to go. But now we come to one of the most important and most frequently asked questions. How do I actually become an admin on my own server? Just head back over to the settings. Here you not only have the possibility to leave your email address so that the developers can contact you, but here you also have the possibility to change the name of your server and do some small tweaks. The most important thing we are looking for is this. The remote admin password. But first, I want to rename the server so I can find it in the list. I will call it um, Test Server Video. Don't forget to enter your email and to save all your changes before you restart your server. Let's go over to the list of all available SCP servers and look for our own server. Don't forget, copy the remote admin password now. Here it is, our server. I guess you already know this window. We are now logged into our server as a regular player. Servers usually are open to everyone, so it's important to set you as a remote admin. Open up the built-in remote admin console using the M key on your keyboard. All that is left to do here is to enter the password you have just copied from your web interface. Paste it here and enter the remote admin interface. The game now automatically sets you as RA, as Remote Admin, and grants you access to the most important control center. You now have access to many, many functions like, for example, retrieving information about the current players, assign items, store management, you can restart a round or spawn someone new, and of course you can also change some configuration of your server in this menu. Keep in mind not to share this password with anyone you don't want to edit and control your server. I will keep mine just like it is because the server will soon be deleted anyway. So, But you also have the possibility to open the text-based console here. Some of the most useful commands that you can enter here can be found on our website. Just check the server console area in your web interface. But now we get to a point that might also be important for you. How do I change the look and the color of my server so that it can be found a little easier in the SCP server list? Let's head back to our dashboard so that I can show you how to do that. Welcome back to your control center. So, because I'm a big fan of the color green, I want the name of my server to be green as well. The boring white on dark background thing isn't really what I want for my server to look like, so how do we do that? It's simple. Just add square bracket color equals lime square bracket the name of your server square brackets slash color and square brackets and just save the whole thing. Restart your server and your server will appear like this. 
perfection. But there's also the possibility to give players information about your server. A little hidden in this corner right here, you can find an info button. Here you can leave notes for other players about rules, you can give links to your Discord server or your website and, of course, explain what your server is all about. The preset here is, this server is hosted by zaphosting.com. Let me show you how to edit this. Just go back to the dashboard of your server, where we have just changed your server's name. Scroll down a bit and you will find the following. Server info, pastebin ID. Pastebin is an information page where you can save text for the time being. This can be any text and you can change the color of the text according to your wishes. You automatically join with the guest account so you can go right away and type in your text. I will enter the following. This is a test. Create new paste. This is a test is now start under this URL. Copy this appendage, switch back to our dashboard and enter it here. Of course you will have to save the whole thing again and restart your server so that the changes take effect. Let's check the info button again. And here it clearly states, this is a test. And if you are currently not running SCP on your computer, but you want to get access to your console, you can always use the live console in our web interface. Just type in the comments in the line below and send it to your server. We will soon add a list of useful comments here. So, this is a small glimpse of how to set up your own server. We wish you a lot of fun. And as mentioned, should there be any question, please contact us via live chat on our website or via social media. See you soon.